Hey, my name is Moloch, and I am a real professional esports diamond siege gamer. And uh, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to play as uh, the castle. I mean, rook. And uh, first things first, you've got to set up the class because if you aren't the right class, you can't really succeed. Just like in real life. So let's uh, figure this out. Uh, rook is one of the blue ones, I think. Uh, there's a lot of blue ones. Um, uh, with Rook, he, uh, there is. You want to use the uh, ACOG because he's one of the only uh, operators who has the ACOG. So I use the shotgun. Um, like I said, you want to use the ACOG. So uh, is that no? Uh, maybe wait a sec. Uh, that's that's the ACOG. Uh, they must just call it red dot in the new patch. Um, make sure you got um, the laser on because. This game is so broken, the aiming is so bad, it's impenetrable without the without the laser attachment. Uh, this is his best handgun. Uh, you want to make sure you choose the American skin because this is an American game made by Americans and Rook is uh, an American character and you don't want to play him an American. You might as well shoot yourself at that point. Um, oh, I forgot. Uh, you need the laser. Yeah, that's the most important attachment in the whole game. They used to charge money for attachments. And then, um, yeah. Oh, I forgot. Uh, we need to customize uh, the shield. Um, you could make it look like Captain America's shield too, because uh, if you... Oh, um, never mind. Um. Most Siege players are just complete idiots. And they think that when you play Rook, you just have to give your armor to the team. Wrong. I think it was uh, said by uh, Albert Einstein himself who said, if you do the expected and expect the uh, unexpected, then I expect you are a dum-dum. So this is just going to be a really quick pro strat that I think you guys might be able to figure out because it's really easy to pick up, but, you know, a little difficult to master. So yeah, the uh, trick is to just uh, go outside and you uh, put the bag down, uh, put the armor down, and then you just sort of lure them in. And then at, at when they least expect it, you do the unexpected and you just kill their their entire team. This really anyone can do it. Um, okay, okay, let's try that again. Come on, okay. This this works. Give it a chance. You know, I know this works. I saw it on a YouTube video. Um, it's a good good technique. All you have to do is. Okay, okay, this is the one. This is the one. This is gonna work. I'm used to it now. They know I'm not threat. They're gonna come. They're gonna grab the bags. And they'll call me. Come on! Please, 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 just take the fucking armor, please. Please, please, just work. Oh, oh. the limit. Oh, she's taking. No, 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 no. This doesn't work. This is the stupidest idea. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done. Stupid game. Oh. <gasps> Did you see that? Did you see that? My teammate got him. Ooh, that's how you do it, baby. But, you know, sometimes the bag trick isn't going to work out as well as it did that time. You know, we've all been there. You play a few ranked matches. You lose a couple in a row. You follow a couple ranks. You know, it's not your fault. It's your team's fault because you're playing with a bunch of just complete stupid idiots. And when you're playing with those kinds of people, you can't really count on them to do the, the good old run out tricks. So when that happens, I say it's probably just best to actually bring the armor to your team. But while well, some people think when you do give the armor to them, you just give them the armor. But I see when you're gonna give your team the armor, you just don't give them the armor. I say this because, you know, these days we're calling the generations Gen X, Y, Z, whatever, but I like to call these generations uh, a generation bitch. I say this because uh, these, these youngsters, these millennials, they just have literally everything handed to them on a, on a silver and gold platter. You know, just think about it, you know, a rich person... They have to somehow figure out how to lose all of their money before they can even be poor. But all these people who are just born into poverty, you know, they're not going anywhere. They're set for life. So, you know, Siege isn't always just about winning. It's also about making everyone around you just a better person. And so you find the highest place you can get to, the most inconvenient spot, and you put the armor right there. And although your teammates, you know, they may not understand at first. They may get upset, but one day they will come and they will shake your your hand firmly 
and they will they will say thank you thank you for making me the the man or the woman that i am today because you taught me about hard work um about working hard about work ethic and um you filled me with a you filled me with determination and i am the man or woman that I am today and I have achieved um, the success that I have because you you made me go the extra mile and you made me um, think about the value of of going the extra mile doing the extra mile and they'll never forget you for that and even if your teammates, you know, they, they don't learn their lesson, that's okay too. You know, when they see you being creative, they, they think to themselves, Oh, this guy, this guy, he or she thinks outside the box. This, this, is, a, this is a funny guy, you know, I like this guy. And what, what the fuck? And uh, like I said before, Rook is one of the only operators who has uh, a sh uh, an ACOG. And so um, you want to always use the ACOG to spawn people. It's really one of the only things Rook is actually good for. So we're just going to get some sweet spawn peak kills. If anyone's... Oh! Oh! That... I got him! How was that not a headshot? What the... Oh, gas game. Ugh, come on, revive me. You guys saw that, that was a headshot, right? Hit reg is broken in this game. Fuck <sighs> Blizzard. See? I told you it works. Shotgun with the ACOG. I know I know a lot of people would like to refer to Siege as a single player uh, FPS or a first person shooter. But I like to refer to it as a, a TPS, a team player seminar. Um, just because, you know, like I said before, uh, Siege isn't just about winning, and winning in Siege is not just about skill, it's really about morale. And so, you know, you gotta find ways to boost morale, and in most games, the way they do this is in a uh, voice line. Let's license? What for? I let's license? What for? I let's license? What for? I let's license? What for? Let's license? What for? <laughs> It would get funnier every time. Which can really enhance uh, gameplay. And so when you pull your sack out of armor, you should always have some sort of a clever, original, creative catchphrase ready to really get your team pumped up so, you know, they feel like they're gonna win. You can say, you know, something like this. All right, get your plates, boys. All right, I brought dinner, boys. All right, I brought the jerseys, boys. All right, eat my ass, boys. All right, come get your lunchbox, boys. Why don't you get your own fucking lunchbox? <laughs>